So I was checking through my Strava notifications and I'm like, oh, someone's, uh, someone's snipped my little uh, KOM recently on the Gold Coast. And this is a climb that uh, in the Gold Coast, not many people really ride the hills there compared to Adelaide. If this was an Adelaide climb, it would be flooded. But on the Gold Coast, most people just ride up and down the flat. There is some good riders on the Gold Coast, and there's some great rides, but probably 99% of the riders on the Gold Coast up and down the flats. But in Adelaide, it's probably 90% would do the hills. So we're cruising down here, and there's JP, dude. I'm like thinking, so I did 317 watts, so I was, I was pushing it a bit, but I could definitely, I could probably put a hold 350 for that segment on a good day. So I could, I could get down to that time. So it wasn't too unbelievable. But I'm thinking, who is this JP person? You know, who's, who's JP? And I'm like, it's Lance. So it's Lance Armstrong stole my KOM. But Lance, I don't think he's in Australia right now. But then, then, then this dude net yesterday, he takes the Norton Summit KOM. So someone's trolling or something. I'm not sure what's going down. But uh, look at this. Let's have a look. So he's just, let's look at the ride, first of all. Where did he start? So he just, he started at Glenburn, finished at Glenburn, all right? And he, he's, he did Woodlands Way, so he sort of knows the area a bit. Something's going on here. So who the fuck is JP? Does a 1040 up Norton, cadence of 90, 474 watts, takes out the Norton Summit KOM. I'm like 1257. So ever since Two Down Under came through, it's real hard to get in there. A few choppers said, oh, Two Down Under, stage four, they just took it easy up Norton Summit and they got the KOM. No, no, no. They were fucking belting it out. Look at the watts. 427, 422, they're belting the watts up there. But JP comes along, 474 watts. The lightning bolt, people say, what does a lightning bolt mean? Lightning bolt means it was registered with, there was a power meter on the bicycle recording the power. All right? So you can see all those lightning bolts. So those lightning bolts. Um, and you can see that when you're in a big bunch, the power is a little bit less because you're getting the draft, etc. So this guy here, 474, behind a motorbike, not either way, big power fast time um, but was, you know, so let's have a look at analyze this a little bit more let's, we're looking for some suspect data some people are saying this is uh, Chris Froome some people are saying it's Garen Thomas some people even say it's Lance some, some people are saying it's that British hill climb champ uh, from the UK but it's, just, it's pretty random it hasn't uploaded on Strava for ages and then comes over takes my KOM and then starts up, then takes an Norton Summit KOM. So definitely some sort of trolling going on here. Someone's paying attention. It's pretty funny. But who the fuck is JP? Following nobody, 1,200 followers. Yeah, uploads hardly ever. But uh, bikes, an AX Vial, Super 6 Evo. Records data with a Garmin 510. So we've got the legit data here. Now, some people are saying that there's an uh, e-bike motor involved. I'm going to get my power tap back off and make soon. I'll put up my e-bike and I'll see if it actually will record power. The e-bike motor pulling the power meter, will it record power? And that is one way you could troll it. But so far, if you've got power meter data, then it seems pretty legit. But who the fuck is JP? Uh, Rowan Dennis does this climb a lot. I don't think Rowan would do something like this. I don't know, maybe there's a bit of troll factor there going on. Oh, next time I see Rowan, I saw him this morning, he was zooming past, so I didn't get a chance to ask. But I'll ask Rowan next time I see him if he knows who JP is. Um, but 474 watts, that's that's big power. There's not many people in the world who can put out 474 for 10 minutes. There's not many people in the world. I think Rowan could probably do that. Uh, Jack Bobridge at the moment, but I'm not sure he's in Adelaide. So there's there's not many people in the world that can do 474. You got You'd be around 70 kilos, so that's... It's nudging seven watts per kilo. Oh, 6.8 or something like that. Um, yeah, so something's going on here. Something's going on here. We did the triple kicker. That's a steep climb. So Damon Housen's got that. I'm second. JP is there. So interesting here. 54 cadence. All right, so he's, he's pushing the watts. 390 watts, 54. So he's got standard cranks in his bike i can i can pretty confidently say it's got a 53 39 on there maybe a 25 27 on the back something like that all right so it's anyone with a standard crank if you see him around who the fuck is jp i looked at a bit of data make me look a little bit sus let me go back to 
This is forensics here, mate. Strava forensics. I'm, I'm going to contact Nord Police Station today and report this. It's abuse of a power meter. All right, let's go down here. This is this is a bit of suspect. What well, looked a bit sus to me. I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to check out his KOMs. So he goes far. He goes fast downhill as well. Um, just cleaned up all these fucking Norton Summit segments. <laughs> uh, here we go. All right. This one here looks sus. Let me know what you think. Could have been a data dropout, but it, it, it looked very suspicious. We're going to go down to... We're going to go back to the ride that it was done on. This is how you check out Strava. Oh, it's, everything's in the details. Strava's the future, man. Coaches are going to be sniffing through Strava. They're going to look at riders' cadence. They're going to be looking analyze. All right, so Strava is the future. Strava's now. Look how, many, look how many pros are on Strava now in just one year. Last year, it was fucking hard any. Now, up plus power data. The level of transparency is going up. So you can see here, right, I know this climb pretty well. He's gone from 55k an hour and all of a sudden going slower when they're going downhill. And then look at that. Look at the power. is zero. Cadence is zero. So coasting... Goes from 54 zzz, to 78. And there's no, there's no 54. Right, let's zero it out. Okay, 54, zero, zero. Up to 76. You're not doing 22k an hour. Something's going on there. You're not doing 20. You're not going to, there's, that road's not steep enough to get 22k an hour boost, in my opinion. Something's going on there. And then pedals a little bit more. But his watts is only eight. I'm not sure if there's a drop out there. You know what I mean? A 75k an hour. And this, look, this looks pretty legit. Normally, you know, just bang it out again. It's going hard. It's 568, etc. So, along here, was just going cruising though. It's like he's, he's just doing just enough wattage to take the KOMs. The faith. Um, and let us know down below. Who the fuck is JP? Who do you think it is? Is it Chris Froome? Is it Lance? Is it Bob Bridge? Is it Dennis? Is it Garen Thomas? Who is it? It's someone who knows climbs well in Adelaide. Someone's got a bit of experience here, and all those names have got a bit of experience here. Who who is trolling us? Who is trolling us? And uh, I'm curious to see what the deal is. I'll go get my e-bike out, put a power meter on it, and see if we can create any uh, troll data. Someone said this guy has KOMs all over the place. Was in Mallorca last week and has all the top times out there too. Last week? No, not in Mallorca. Last week. No, nah, not possible because I'm on his screen now. He hasn't done, hasn't uploaded for ages. Now he was in Mallorca. Let's just look up on Google. J, hang on. JP Strava troll. We'll call him a troll because we're not sure what the deal is yet. Um, so it's, it's been discussed. This is October 2013. Mystery cyclist beats the pro Strava times. Yeah, so JP. Some people are saying it's uh, what's that? Um, yeah, there's something's going on here. But no, that was ages ago in Mallorca. What's that? 2013. It seems to be or 2014. But uh, so banging it out. It's quite funny reading some of the comments. Uh, someone says, "Oh, um." There's people talking about digital EPO, but you can't do that unless you, with power meter data. Can you? I you can't do that. If if I'm wrong, let me know down below. Show me how you can manipulate power data and cadence data. All right, can't do that. Cadence would be easy because you just put a cadence meter on an e-bike. But power, let's see if it, if if I put my power tap on my e-bike, will the the crank drive motor record power? Potentially, it will. We'll find out. So that could explain it. But this guy's traveling around the world. To do this is pretty pretty hilarious. <laughs> um, Jonathan Parker, super quick. We'll see, we'll see, we'll find out. Let's, we're gonna find out. Jack Puller. We're gonna find out who this person is. We're gonna bring in this driver justice. Um, anyway, let us know down below who who is JP. Who the fuck is JP?